I'm Jack Bennett. I'm one of the co-founders and designers at Oddbug Studio, and we're currently working on Tales of Wine 2, Whiskers of Winter. We always planned for Tales of Iron to be a saga, so Tales of Iron 1 was just the first chapter in that story, and we've gone with Tales of Iron 2 to expand that world and show more of the Raddon. With Tales of Iron 2, we've really tried to expand the universe, add in new cultures and races, such as bats, hedgehogs, catfish, owls, and more. The really exciting thing about all these cultures is they come together to develop a fellowship to fight the Dark Ones. So with new cultures and new races added to the game, we've really tried to expand the unique biomes available for the player to explore. The game takes place in the Northern Wastes, a much more snowy, desolate area, which led to us having a much more imposing Viking-esque character in Arlo, who is son of the late Warden of the North. Similar to the original, the new game starts with a dramatic death, plunging Arlo into combat with the Dark Things, an ancient enemy that have re-emerged within the Ratdom. Whether he's ready or not, the dangers the Dark Things pose are even steeper this time. Luckily, our hero Arlo comes with his own set of new skills, such as dangerous elemental attacks and deadly traps. Even if you haven't played the first game, you can still enjoy the story of Tales of Iron 2 as a standalone sequel. Alongside the main quest, we've also introduced monster hunting. So the player will have to track down giant beasts that plague the land and defeat them in combat. In return, the player will receive rare crafting materials that they can use to upgrade their equipment as well as craft new powerful weapons and armor. Tales of Iron 2 Whiskers of Winter is available later this year on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch and is available to wishlist now.